Hi, this is Mark from ModernDayLevite.com. Thanks for joining me today. Wanted to chat with you real quick regarding personal or uh, private worship as opposed to corporate worship. Um, before you turn this off thinking I'm not a worship leader or I'm not on a worship team, uh, this is for you too. Um, our personal worship time is the foundation for our corporate worship time. Uh, think of it as priming the pump, so to speak. Um, oftentimes, if we are if we are worshipers during the week and we worship God in our own personal time, um, then it means that we're filled up and we're actually bringing our praise and our worship into God's house on a Sunday morning, and it uh, livens up and enriches the corporate worship experience. Now, for the uh, the worship leader, for the worship team member, the instrumentalist. Um, Private worship is very important in that what it does is it allows you to learn God's voice and to learn the direction of the Lord in worship during your private time so that when you bring it into a corporate setting, you're familiar with that voice, you're familiar with that direction with the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Um, think of it this way. If I were to call you one time a month on a random day of the month, and I just said, hi, how you doing? You really wouldn't know who it was. You'd have to ask, uh, who is this? And I'd say, well, this is Mark. Oh, okay, now I know who it is. If I called you the same time every single day, or let's say every other day, right at noon on the button, after a while you'd start to say, oh, I know who this is. As soon as you heard my voice, you'd know who it was. So for private Private worship is that time to connect with God so that you know His voice, you know His direction, so that when you get to a corporate worship time and you hear it, you can go in the direction He wants you to go. Um, I hope that this has been helpful to you. It's been new revelation to take you deeper. And happy worshiping.